welcome to another episode of I Demand a Homestead. My name is Amanda and today we're going to talk about, well, first of all, it's like the, my, one of my favorite times of year right now. It's spring in southern Ontario, um, in Canada, and we are going to talk about planting your vegetable garden. Um, and again, this is, I mean, for me, it's super exciting. I hope it's super exciting for you. And today what we're going to talk about is whether you want to, when you're choosing what to plant, do you want to start from seeds or do you need to buy plants? Okay, um, and this can be a very, very important decision because you probably have noticed when you go to the nursery center that, um, or the, the garden center, that plants are super expensive and seeds are really cheap, right? So it can be tempting to buy all seeds um, and just plant them. But there's some, there's some reasons when you can do that and there's some reasons when you really can't, okay? So first of all, it really depends on um, the length of your growing season. And that will, that will really kind of depend on where you are in the world. Um, here in Southern Ontario, which is Southern part of Canada, um, we have a shorter growing season that a lot of places, our last frost date is about May the 1st and our um, first frost in the fall is somewhere around the end of September, early October. So we kind of don't have as many choices about um, planting seeds because things just, we just don't have enough time for things to grow. So usually then what I'll do on most of your packages of seeds, it will tell you um, how many days it takes to mature, okay? So that will give you a good hint as to whether or not you'd be able to plant seeds or whether you need to buy plants. Um, so, and then depending on when you're able to put out the different plants, that can also help you. So for example, and these, I'm, I'm really lucky. I started all my plants inside, um, which if you've seen my, my previous episode on how to um, grow your indoor lettuces, very basically the same way that I do my vegetables. So all of these I've started myself from seeds like months ago. So um, I don't have to buy very many plants at all, which is pretty great for me. But anyway, so something like this, which is kale, or something like this, which is Brussels sprouts. These guys are pretty cold tolerant. So I can put them out pretty early, um, which means that they don't I don't have to worry quite so much about um, how long it takes them to mature. But something else like this, which is a tomato, or this, which is a pepper, these guys love the heat and they do not tolerate the cold very well. So it means that I can't put them out until a lot later than that. Um, probably like, probably two or three weeks after our last frost date is when I'll be able to put these guys out. So probably not for another two or three weeks. I've got them out here right now because they're getting kind of hardened off and used to the weather. If there's any frost coming, I just bring them back inside. But anyway, the moral of the story is because tomatoes take a longer time to mature and because they like heat and I can't plant them out until later, it means that starting them from seed or planting them directly in the garden from seed is not a good idea, okay? So you have to think about how long your growing season is and if you have frost, when your frost dates are, okay? Because that'll give you an idea about whether you can use seeds or plants. So that's one thing. Don't mind me, there's some black flies that are flying around. Um, anyway, so that's an important thing. The other thing that I encourage people to think about is um, how many of the particular plant you need, okay? So again, using my tomato example, you don't need that many tomato plants because they each produce a whole bunch of tomatoes, right? Versus something like, uh, versus something like beans, okay? You're gonna need an awful lot more of those. So I tend to kind of plant those from seed. So usually the things that I think about starting as, or buying as plants are things like um, eggplant, um, tomatoes, peppers. Those are the heat loving things. Um, even some of the cooler season ones, I'll start as plants like kale, uh, like broccoli, 
uh, like cabbages, Brussels sprouts. I'll start those as plants as well. Um, you could you could probably do them from seed, but it, I just like doing it this way. Um, and then the, and then herbs. Herbs I also get as plants just because a lot of times the herbs take a little bit longer to germinate, um, the seeds do, and then they just take it longer to get established, longer to grow, and so it seems to me that it's it's much easier to, to buy them as plants. So the things that you can start as seeds um, would be things that you need more of, right, like we talked about. So things like uh, lettuce, you're going to need lots, especially if you grow leaf lettuce, you need lots of little lettuces. Uh, spinach. Um, so any of the greens you can start that way. A lot of the root vegetables you're gonna you're gonna seed directly into the garden. So carrots, uh, parsnips, um, beets, spinach. Spinach is not a root vegetable. What was I thinking of? Not beets. Turnips. Turnips. That's what I was thinking of. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, all the root vegetables are gonna be able to be seeded directly into the garden. The other good reason to do that is they don't take very kindly to transplanting, root vegetables don't. So um, that can be another reason. So um, things like that. The ones that you can kind of go either way, I've heard a lot of people say that they'll direct seed cucumbers and squash and zucchini and watermelon and stuff like that. Um, I tend to start those a little bit later indoors and I tend to plant them as plants just because that way I know exactly how many I'm going to have but you can they're kind of like an either or you decide what you prefer to do um, if you want to save a little bit of money you can start them from seeds if you want to be sure that you've got big plants to get going faster because you have a shorter growing season then absolutely start them as plants okay so um, whatever you choose to do you know just get out there get growing try something out um, and if you make some mistakes, it's no big deal. You learn from it. Um, and then you can also kind of like ask gardeners in your own area because they'll give you a better idea of what is the right choice. But I think getting started and just growing something, that is the right choice. Just give it a try. All right, if you have any questions about any of this or whether you should be kind of starting one thing or the other, please feel free to post that in the comment section. I'm happy to answer questions. Um, and we'll be posting more videos this year about how to grow various things, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this episode of I Demand a Homestead. My name is Amanda. And if you did enjoy it a lot, you can press the subscribe button. I think it's up, up here or up there so that whenever I post another video, you'll get to see it. All right, take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.